All right, it's time for us to get on with this murder mystery. What will be a murder mystery, but yeah. This mystery. Mystery. Is anyone in here? No. There is nobody in here. Okay. Hmm. There are some people, though. Hannah, if I say something to you that is probably outrageously impertinent, will you never speak to me again? I don't think I'd ever regard anything you say to me as impertinent. Why don't you divorce Arlena? She's pretty notorious. You don't understand, my dear girl. Are you so frightfully fond of her? It's not a question of that. Arlena's not good for Linda, nor for you. Perhaps. But you see, I gave my word. Marriage is a vow, Rosa. I'm sick of quick marriage and easy divorce. Arlena's my wife. That's all there is to it. Till death do you part? Yes. Till death do us part. I see. Oh-ho! Now we have heard all we can here, Hastings. Well, seriously, why stay with someone who makes your life worse and miserable and just adds nothing but pain like what and no you know what we'll go back no stop no what blah, blah. wait 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 can we touch anything here now I want to hear you <laughs> Yes, we can. Haha. Is it called like a turkey baster or something? No. <gasps> okay, fine. <laughs> it's an ice pick. Not really the same thing. But hey. Let's go here. See if anyone is in the tennis court. Nope. Oh! What is this though? Can't believe I actually saw that tennis ball. <laughs> it is an unusual. It's a key yes, 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 yes. Bit of a. Okay, so someone has been playing tennis or something. I don't know. Hey, I guess it's basically just like explore everywhere again. Here is a person. Bonjour, Monsieur Gardner. Have you lost something? What? Oh, hello, Mr. Poirot. Lost something? Uh, no, no. Just looking at the grass. You look at the grass with great intensity. Nothing wrong in that, I hope. My hobby could be gardening, like my name. It could be, that is true. But you have already told me your hobby is collecting rare coins. I did, did I? Well, it's true. A wonderful view from this spot. Yes, I'm told Tom Cutter spent long hours up here, watching the sea for ships that might run aground. What brings you and the charming Mrs. Gardner to Seadrift Island? Whim, I think. I don't quite recollect. No, that's not it. Oh my god. What is it? Why did we come here? We came here... Good god, man. Today is our anniversary. August 24th, 29th anniversary, and I have completely forgotten. What am I going to do? I try to sneak into time, she'll know. She'll know I forgot. Do not concern yourself, my friend. I, Hercule Poirot, will undertake this mission for you. And Mrs. Gardner will be none the wiser. That's very decent of you, Mr. Poirot. What can I do in return? Just repaying you doesn't seem enough. Huh? Possibly tell me the truth about why you came to Seadrift Island. I expect you've already guessed, but if you can find Kerry a present, I'll be happy to share all I know. Eh bien, no time must be lost. What shall I purchase for her? Why, well, I, I don't know. Use your own discretion. I know frilly undergarments, though. That wouldn't do. I need to alert the cook. We want a little cake and champagne. 
please leave me Alright. So we have a mission there. Is it in our notes? Yes, find an anniversary gift for Oakley to give Carrie. Mm hmm. Oh, can we uh, ice pick this? I don't know. The good detective knows. Yeah. Cool, cool. blind the birds practically walk right up to me i am pleased you find it adequate mademoiselle marshall but there's something wrong look at that one on the rock nearest the shore what is on it mr poirot it looks like oil poirot maybe from a leaky boat engine it'll kill the bird i'm afraid mademoiselle it is oil i fear very bad for living things oh please please mr poirot we must try to save it. Hastings? I am out of my depth here. I'm afraid I am too, old man. Maybe there's someone in the village who could help us? No more can be learned by... The bird is close enough you could trap the bird with a fishnet without getting your feet wet. We do not have the fishnet. Yes, that's the problem. Cool, cool. Okay. Well, we need to get in, need to get to Leathercomb Bay somehow. So the tractor needs to work at some point. Oh, did you know that woman was going to be here? Look, Christine. I don't know what's come over you. Over me. Oh, Patrick, you insisted so on coming here. You knew Mrs. Marshall was going to be here. You're infatuated with her. For God's sake, Christine, don't make a fool of yourself. We've been so happy. We are happy. But we shan't go on being happy if I can't even speak to another woman without you kicking up a row. You're in love with her. Don't be ridiculous. Come on, let's go back to the hotel. I'm climbing down to Cutter's Cove. You can come if you like. This isn't good. No, my friend. Yet there is nothing we can do. Events will take their course. What do you think you're playing at? Poirot, he goes for the afternoon constitutional. Nothing more. Poirot, you say? The detective? The very same. I'm Patrick Redfern. My wife, Christine, and I. You down here on the case? No, no. Merely the holiday. Oh, you are on holiday as well? That's right. I'm an estate agent. War is hard on the housing market. So, we took a few days off. War is hard on many things. That's true enough. How do you like Cedred Island? I think it's grand, actually. The weather has been cooperating and the swimming is first rate. I used to spend most of my time as a boy exploring this coast long before there was a hotel here. I observed earlier, you enjoy their friendship with Elena Marshall. Oh, she's just an acquaintance Christine and I made up in London. Quite the coincidence, all of you turning up here. Yes, rather. What was it like here when you were a boy? Just the smugglers and pub all shut up here on the island, and Cutter's Cave, of course. Cutter's Cave? It's behind some rocks down in Cutter's Cove there. You haven't explored it? Ah, uh, no. The ladder? It is safe? The metal one sounds enough. You can also row around from the bathing beach if you like. Ah, uh, and Mrs. Redfern, does she share your enthusiasm? Yes, she's enjoying her sketching immensely. She's quite good at it too. If you'll excuse me, Mr. Poirot, I'm going to wait on the deck for my wife. <laughs> okay. Baba. Bye. 
Good afternoon, Madame Gardner. Hello, Mr. Poirot. May I join you? I should like the company. Thank you. I love her accent. That is a very beautiful shawl. Oh, thank you. It seems as I've been working on it for ages. You enjoy the knitting? Oh, yes. Oakley has his coins. I have this. There. Finished. Oh, you are very skilled. Monsieur Gardiner seems young to be already retired. Oh, well, to tell you the truth, Mr. Poirot, retirement chose Oakley. He did not choose it. A financial misfortune? Yes. You recall his mentioning the theater he used to manage? Bien, sir. He was the owner as well. The theater had not been doing well. Oakley hit on the idea of paying a great deal of money, more than he could afford to lose, to attract a major star to perform there. She took the money. He claimed illness. The show was cancelled. There was nothing for it but to close. We live off his army pension and a bit half put away. What brought you to Seadrift Island, Madame Gardner? Hmm. Oh my goodness! What is it? Our anniversary is today. Our 29th anniversary and I had forgotten it. Oh, I have nothing to give him. Perhaps that's sure? I have often found them of great value, fending off the cold of a winter evening. Oakley wouldn't be caught dead in a shawl. And I have no time to knitting anything else. I see. Oh, Mr. Poirot, I know he'd give me my present at dinner. What shall I do? Allow Poirot to assist you. I will find a suitable gift. If you could do that, this shawl is yours. I'd better get back to the hotel. I want to be ready for dinner. <gasps> Poirot, there is too much going on to bother ourselves with this. Au contraire, my friend. It does not hurt to help others in need. And that is a shawl I would prize. Poirot knows how to do it. Poirot knows how to do it. How can you not love Poirot? Like, come on. Okay, is anyone down on this beach? I don't remember what it was called. It is quite a view, Hastings, but I fear my eyesight is not up to the task of making out any items of interest unaided. Ah, uh, we need... okay, okay, so we need like binoculars or something. Uh, I think we can go look at the shed now though, because George isn't here. <laughs> Boat varnish. Poirot, open the lid. If I get any of this boat varnish on my clothes, you will pay the cleaning bills. Alas, it is stuck fast. I cannot open it. I will take the float, Hastings, but do not expect Poirot to paddle around the sea on it. Ah, <sighs> uh, yes, that is exactly what we expect <laughs> Poirot to be doing. Not. Now that where else have we not been? Where is Emily Brewster? I mean, I guess we could check the rooms. There isn't really... Have we been everywhere else? I think so. I guess we'll go check the rooms. Actually, I shouldn't go here. I should use the stairs outside. Ah, uh, they're over here. That's Emily Brewster's room. Mm -hmm. Quite securely locked, I am afraid. 
The gardener's room? The door, it is locked tight. Yes. Latched tight on the... Where's Blatt? Stephen Lane. <gasps> we can get into Stephen Lane's room. He has a double bedroom. Alright. Or twin bed. I guess it's called. A Bible Poirot. Not so unlikely a thing to find in the room of a former clergyman. Revelation 2.20 Thou sufferest that woman, Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce my servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. Now why would he have that particular passage open? Hmm? Why indeed? If I remember correctly, this must be Stephen Lane's room. Yes, we sort of already established that. Okay. Although I am sure that this. Mineral oil makes a spiffing laxative. We will borrow the mineral oil hastings. But Poirot has no need of their laxative. No markings on the bottle at all. I will take only two. Perhaps we can determine what they are. Alright. Let's go over here again. Poro's room. Actually, maybe we can do something in Poro's bathroom to like determine things. I don't know. We will see. Uh, whoops! Since we can do this, I do not think so. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, okay, I know. I think I know now. What well, we want to be able to do at some point. Okay, find an anniversary gift for Carrie, find an anniversary gift for Oakley, help Linda capture the oil covered Gilmo. Alright. Just try all the rest of the doors. Is Montague Berry's room. That's also open, all right. From the looks of these betting receipts, the major is his bookmaker's best and unluckiest customer. <laughs> yeah. I think this room belongs to Major Barry. Maybe they say it here because they're like, you could also come from this... From this door? I don't know. Doesn't matter. One of those straps on the suitcase might come in handy. Oh, uh, ice pick? This is neither that... That is not... Might come in handy. This is neither. I don't know. Uh... One of those str Okay. There is nothing beneath the pillow. There is nothing. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Well, I guess that we can go in and out. Any doors here? So. We'll just continue around on the inside, I guess. Quite secure. The Red Ferns, Rosamond Darnley. Latched. No, no. 
the door, it will not budge. Kenneth Marshall's room. Latched. Arlena Stewart's room. The door. Then I think we tried all of them, will we? Only bridge, yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. So. What do we do now? We have to get to the mainland somehow, but there's, like, no one we can talk to about that? Or, like, Leathercomb Bay or whatever. How do we get there if the tractor thingy majiggy doesn't work? Like, what? Come on. No answer. And if there is, I should imagine. Ah, third threatening letter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Code book notes. Here we go. No enemy ship sighted. Enemy ship sighted southeast. Enemy ship sighted southwest. Enemy troops. This coast. Danger. Stand off. Pick up required. High tide. Fire on this position. Alright. Patrick Redfern. Mr. Monsieur Poirot's instructions that was not that last word i'm pretty sure that was not french for real that was fake fake fake, fake french is the pub randomly unlocked no i don't think so no, no. <sighs> the door will not budge hmm. all right we have missed T's in Poirot's room. Uh, ironically enough. Or, and, and up here. For some reason, my brain was like, we, towels. We somehow need towels. And now the game, and now the walkthrough is like, yeah, get yourself some towels. <laughs> I'm like, well, remembering. Like weird de <laughs> some details here and there at least. Uh, her cart is not here. Oh no no not Arlena Stewart's room. No no. I know I'm going in weird circles. I'm looking for Gladys's like cart. Oh here it is. I didn't even see it before. Okay, I think we should be able to do something with these things. For the bird, for example. But we need to know that we can do things and how. I guess a book somewhere? Wait, where are the towels? Uh, he's supposed to have clean towels in here, no? Oh, here. Okay. An interesting idea. Uh, but we need some sort of information about how to take care of oily birds. Oh, okay. Sorry. I, um. We have scissors now. That means that in Montague Berry's room we can get the leather strap from his uh, suitcase, apparently. Where's his room even? Oh, is it one of- oh no, his room was like here. Why are you so far away though? Oh, we can go pair now! I didn't even realize that- Latched tight on the inside. Oh, we have to get in there from outside. Okay, fine. 
But now we can go up here. I didn't even notice. Wow. But that's fine. I notice now. It is quite a view, Hastings. But I feel. Uh, 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 uh. We need binoculars. To... Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello. Do you observe anything unusual, Madame Kessel? Not yet, I'm thankful to say. Mr. Blatt's sailboat put into Leathercombe Bay a short while ago. I suspect he'll make for the monkshood before heading back out. What do you look for so intently, Madame Kessel? U boats, Mr. Poirot. I have seen them too. So close to shore? Oh, yes. I suspect there's one out there right now. Watching. Have you told this to Monsieur Blatt? Yes, I did. He laughed at me and said they were not likely to waste a torpedo on his tiny sailboat. He has their point there. What is their monk's hood? The only pub still open between here and Kingsbridge. Albert Bagley runs it. Do you notice how, how like, the straps for her binoculars are, like, super... What's it called? Elastic. There we go. Who has the key to the smuggler's end? Colonel Weston took charge of it when they closed up. Colonel Weston? But he is an old friend of mine. He set up shop in the police station. But is he not the chief constable for the entire district? Yes, but he runs the home guard for this area. He's overseeing the coastal evacuations. We used to have a local constable, but after evacuations got underway, he was transferred to Modbury. May I borrow your binoculars? I need them, Mr. Poirot. I promised Colonel Weston I'd keep watch. Surely no attack will come during the afternoon? Why do you want binoculars? To observe the Gilmo at the Sanctuary of the Birds? You don't strike me as the bird-watching type, Mr. Poirot. It is odd that you say that, madame. I thought the same of a gentleman I met this morning. What gentleman? He called himself Mr. North. Is he perhaps a guest? No, I've never heard of him. To help in the watch for U-boats. Well, I do have other duties to attend to. I mark any sightings on the calendar in my office. If you would do the same... I then pass on the information to Colonel Weston. But of course. And if you wouldn't mind doing me one small personal favor. I would be happy to assist you, madame. If you would return this book to the lending library, I'd think that a very fair trade. I shall do as you ask. Here you are, then. I'll be off. Oh. All right, we have binoculars, which is cool. Uh, and we'll use them in the next episode because time is up. So thank you all very much for watching and I'll see ya.